Hey everyone, it's Coach Matt over here at Primal ATC, Cranston, Rhode Island. Just wanted to drop you guys a quick video on Labor Day. Just had a great workout with a few guys in here. Those are guys that could have been taking their day off and spending it at the beach or spending it with their families at cookouts or just enjoying their Monday off from school. But instead they were in here working to get stronger, working to get faster, working to be a better athlete. Okay, now I wanted to thank those people that came in. I want you guys to ask yourself what you did today to improve your athletic ability. If it was sitting around at a cookout, if it was sitting on your butt on the couch, well, guess what? Now the people that worked out here, they're one step ahead of you. So you have to keep that in mind. Your school season's upon you. Your athletic season's going to be upon you. You have to work hard to try to be better than everybody else out there on that field or on that mat. Okay, now that leads us into what I want to talk about today. Ever since our last video where we showed you some of our training techniques, we getting some great calls and some great feedback from parents and from coaches. Now, unfortunately, the questions that we've been getting have been a little bit different than normal. Now the parents understand how we train here, they want to send their athletes here, and that's fantastic. But the question we're getting a lot is, do you have specific training groups for, say, volleyball players, or for wrestlers, or for football players? You know, is there a time where there are going to be other volleyball players training? Is there a time where there are going to be other wrestlers training? Do you have groups of just those specific sports? And the answer is no. Okay? What we do here is not sports specific training. What we do here is athletic training. Okay, break down any uh, NFL, NBA, Major League Baseball, any Olympic athlete. You take the ball out of their hands, you take the bat out of their hands, you take the shoulder pads and the helmets off them, and you break them down into what makes them great athletes. And that's what we train here. That's their strength, that's their speed, their footwork and coordination, their balance, their explosive power development. That's what we train here. Now, take a great Olympic athlete. Take Michael Phelps, one of the best Olympic athletes to ever come out of the U.S., one of the highest medal holders of all time in any country in any sport. You take Michael Phelps out of the pool. You give him a pair of sprint spikes. You think he's going to be fast on the, on the track? You bet he is. You take Michael Phelps and you put him on a wrestling mat. You think he's going to be a decent wrestler? You bet. You put a football helmet on him. You put some shoulder pads on him. You think he's going to be a pretty decent player? You bet he is. Why is that? Because he's a great athlete. He has the tools and he has the ability to what's going to make him not only a great swimmer, but also a great athlete. That's what we train here. That's why different groups of athletes Different ages, different strengths, and different sports can all train at the same time in the same classes because we're not doing sports-specific movements. Okay, I'm not here trying to teach athletes how to block better. I'm not here trying to teach athletes how to spike a volleyball better, how to throw a discus better, how to kick a soccer ball better, how to swing a golf club better. We're not here doing that. What we're here doing is improving their flexibility. We're here to improve their strength their speed, their power, and their ability to last longer and have muscular endurance so that they can go a full game or they can go a full match or a full fight or whatever sport they do. That's what we're here to improve. Okay, now, that leads us to our second question or the second part that parents usually ask is they say, okay, well if my son can go in there and he can train with uh, other kids from other sports like volleyball players, wrestlers, football players, my son's a sophomore wrestler, okay? He, he's 120 pounds or 125 pounds. How is he going to be able to do the same exercises as a 220-pound lineman? How is he going to be able to do the same exercises as a 200-pound discus thrower? Doesn't make sense. Listen, what we do here is a lot different from what a regular gym is going to do. The exercises that they're going to do can be made harder or they can be made easier so that it's going to be more challenging for one athlete and less challenging for another. We're going to give you an example of that right now. All right, everyone. Now, one of the best examples that I can give you of an exercise that we can modify for different athletes, different sizes, different strength levels from all different sports is a burpee. Now, for those of you that don't know what a burpee is, your basic burpee starts, looks like this. You're down on the ground, put your hands on the ground, extend the feet out, feet back in, and you stand up. Kind of like a squat thrust for those parents out there that might have done those during gym class. Okay, but that's what we call a burpee. 
down on the ground, feet go back into a plank position, feet jump back underneath you, and you stand up. Now, if you're a 250 pound lineman, if you're a 230 pound shot putter, doing that with your body weight for a minute, or doing that with your body weight for 12 reps, that's going to be hard enough. Okay, what if you're a 123 pound wrestler? You're going to have to make that a little bit more difficult because they're a lot stronger for their size and they're going to be able to do those all day long. So how do you make it tougher? One of the ways you make it tougher is by incorporating a push-up in the middle. Now that looks like this. Just like a regular burpee, down on the ground, out, push up, underneath you, stand up. Want to make it harder than that? Do a vertical leap at the top. So you're down, out, push up, up, vertical leap. Want to make it even harder than that? You can incorporate a pull up at the top. Down, out, push up, feet underneath you, vertical leap into a pull up. Okay, that's one rep. Want to make it even tougher than that? You can incorporate dumbbells at the bottom. Now, this is what it looks like with dumbbells. Instead of doing a push up, you just grab the dumbbell handles. You're down, out, push up, underneath you, deadlift the dumbbells. Okay? Down, out, push up, underneath you, vertical leap with the dumbbells. Okay? We can also add a weight vest, we can also add chains. There's a lot of ways we can make that movement harder to incorporate the athletes that might have more endurance, that might be able to go for a longer period of time. Now we can do that with a number of different exercises here. The other week, the last video, you saw the glute ham raise. 10 reps on the glute ham raise, for some athletes it's going to be ridiculously tough. For some athletes, ridiculously easy. So we incorporate chains, weight vests, bands, have them hold a medicine ball or have them hold a plate on their chest. That's how you make it tougher. That's the reason you can have athletes from different sports, different age groups, different size and different strength, all working out together at the same time, working toward the same goal. Okay? Now, everyone out there needs to do this type of training. Every athlete, no matter if you are an explosive athlete like a shot putter or a lineman, no matter if you are an endurance athlete, like for example a basketball player that plays all 60 minutes, a soccer player that plays the whole game, you need to improve every aspect of the sport. That means you should be improving your strength, even if you're an endurance athlete, you need to be improving your endurance, even if you're a power athlete, you need to be improving your speed, you need to be improving your footwork, and your vertical leap. Those building blocks are what make all athletes great, like I just explained. Okay, so we need to improve those athletes no matter what sport you do, if we improve those aspects of that athlete, they are going to be better at their sport. That's the way it works. So if you guys want to try this out, please get in contact with us. Phone number is right on the website. The email to contact us is right on the website. The place you want to go, www.primalatc.com. Right off the highway, Cranston, Rhode Island, right in the middle of the state. Easy to get to from anywhere. Please come check us out. You won't be sorry. You're going to be an animal out there on the field.